I am Matteo Alessio Chiappedi, I'm a child neuropsychiatrist. As a child neuropsychiatrist, I see patients aged 0 to 18. Most patients with ADHD, however, are first seen during school age, although the number of patients in kindergarten age is actually increasing. In general, ADHD can be diagnosed in 1 to 1.5% 1 of school-aged children. The most frequent comorbidities are specific learning disorders, oppositional defiant disorder, mood and anxiety disorders. However, these kids experience a huge lot of problems, both in relational terms, including problems with peers and with adults, and of course, a high risk of school failure. They often report that the child is not able to stay still and, of course, he cannot attend school duties because he is always distracted. Most parents often say that these kids want to finish things before they even started them. And so, this is a very important problem for them, as well as their lack of short-term memory, because they forget what they have been asked to do and so this causes lots of trouble in the family. It depends on the presentation of the disorder, of course, but the inability to focus on simple tasks as well as impulsivity are really common. The diagnosis is reached once you identify diagnostic criteria and you exclude possible alternatives. This typically implies the use of uh, standardized tools and can be conducted here at the Mondino Foundation both as inpatient in a day hospital, usually two days of day hospital are sufficient, or we can imply eight to ten outpatient sessions. As to treatment, here at the Bondino Foundation we have child and parent training, also teacher training and in some specific cases we also offer psychological treatment more personalized and uh, an intervention for specific learning disorders when they are uh, uh, diagnosed as a comorbidity. Actually that's about three years. I've used Equazen for three main situations. First, children below age six, because according to the Italian regulation, they cannot be started in, on methylphenidate or any other specific drug. Second, in patients for whom parents uh, didn't want to start a proper drug. Third, in patients when already started in re, uh, with methylphenidate, but with insufficient results. they showed an improvement in their general ability to regulate both their behavior and their attention. They also had some relevant results in terms of school achievements and most notably when they also were taking methylphenidate the effect of methylphenidate seemed to be somewhat longer and more more impacting in terms of efficacy. it's really rare. I've only had to switch to the oral solution in a few cases. I can remember a seven-year-old boy, I started in Equazen for having ADHD and some features of learning disorders, although not so uh, important as to reach uh, an additional diagnosis. The mother noted an improvement and teacher noted an improvement as well, but then uh, suddenly, without asking for advice, she decided to move to another product. She thought it was similar. After a couple of weeks, she uh, came to, to me and she said, oh, things are not going properly. I asked her what had changed and she told me that she had changed the product. I asked her to go back to Equazen and then, at the next visit, she declared, 
I won't do anything like this any time again. I wanted to save money, I lost a lot of time, I lost a lot of money in buying another product and it didn't work. So I think now what you suggested me is definitely worth the cost. Equazen, with its three formulations, is suitable for children of any age. It is safe, it can be effective, with possible additional cardiovascular and metabolic uh, uh, benefits. Then it has very limited si uh, interactions with other drugs, and when it has, they can be beneficial. The example of methylphenidate is striking. I can see a number of good reasons for considering Equazen, and at present I can't see any single reason for not considering it. Something I can say for a very limited number of treatment options.